Just with us this morning, the hurricane <laughs> Who are you, expert and forensic meteorologist Howard Alshaw. Uh, Howard, how are you? Nice uh, to see morning. you. Good morning. Thanks. To, thanks for having me. Um, you know, we are we are uh, again constantly trying to battle inducing panic versus simply being prepared. Let's go to the science right. of this. We have cooler waters. We are going to see yes. a very big storm roll in our direction. As you've looked at this forensically, how does this compare with Irene? Uh, well, I think it's going to be going all over the place in terms of direction and where the storm goes. But then it takes a, a, a sharp turn to the left and northwest, comes inland almost ironically in the same place that Irene made landfall, not far from Little uh, Egg Inlet in New Jersey, but I think Cape May, New Jersey um, will be uh, the, the landfall spot for uh, uh, Hurricane uh, Sandy. Um, and we, again, we do have the cooler waters and it is transitioning sort of to an extra tropical storm, a hybrid, so now the winds actually get enhanced. High pressure is off, as Mike was saying. High pressure is over the Great Lakes, and now you're having this gradient on the west side that's going to increase the winds as well, I think, over New Jersey and Pennsylvania. So, Howard, you're monitoring this, but, I mean, obviously we're still a good 48 hours away sure. from this. Could could anything change? Could this hurricane decide to veer more right? Yeah, in, in meteorology, we never give 100% guarantees, <laughs> right, Dave? We notice. Yes. We right. notice. You know that. Uh, but <clears throat> when all of the very reliable computer models come on board to a similar solution, uh, especially the real good ones that are honing in on southern New Jersey, it gives us a good idea of where landfall will be. I've been telling people from Norfolk, Virginia, all the way up to uh, eastern Long Island, pay close attention. Some of the models still bring landfall over central Long Island, uh, which is not out of the question, but so, not a likelihood. So what will they feel in central Long Island? Central Long Island, I think they'll be seeing a wind gust to tropical storm force, um, very large battering waves, uh, which could cause uh, some flooding and some beach erosion, and probably severe beach erosion even down along the Jersey Shore Belmar Point Pleasant Point South to Atlantic City uh, and some storm surge uh, in Battery Park maybe as we uh, head through uh, the 48 hours or so that the storm is going to be over us take us through what we can expect Monday night Tuesday night and Wednesday how those three days will differ well, we have the winds increase actually on Sunday, starting that early. Gusts probably 20, 30, maybe even 40 miles per hour in some spots. On Monday, it's going to get even worse. We get the heavy rain bands starting to come in. The winds increase to tropical storm force. The waves, I mean, some of the waves down uh, in the Atlantic south of Long Island could be 25 to 30 feet or 35 feet high for some uh, locations. Uh, and then as we get into late Monday, Monday night and Tuesday, that's when the worst of the storm comes into the area. Uh, high winds probably in New Jersey, New York City, we could be seeing 50 to 60 mile an hour sustained winds. Sustained. That does not mean gust. That means this is a yes. constant uh, presence for hours at a time. I think so, yeah. I think it'll be a, a persistent storm, a persistent wind speed. Uh, some gusts will be higher, which will lead to the down power lines and trees. Some people really, especially down in southern and central New Jersey, uh, could see those power outages for up to a week, just like we saw with Irene. Oh, mean. like last year. Oh. Yeah, I think it's going to be very similar. The winds may be a little bit stronger, though. What is it about this time of year? Last year we had that freaky snowstorm. Doesn't right? it have to do with ratings or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It the gods know about hurt. ratings. That's doesn't right. Doesn't hurt. Howard Alshaw, thank you so much for coming in and explaining this to us. We appreciate it's it. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thanks again. I think the one thing we should mention, by the way, is that we can take out snow. Most likely, as a possibility yeah. at this point. If there's snow, it's going to be well west and in higher elevations. But we're we're in for a rain and and wind event that's going to be significant. Most yeah. likely. West Virginia, the Appalachians, western Pennsylvania, maybe 30 inches of snow. In some of those mountains, but not here. Yes. Not here. Yep. Okay. All right. Thanks again. My Appreciate pleasure. It. Thanks. I'm sure we'll see more of you. Uh, Sharon Osborne.